Hello, this is Dr. Liu at the lead time and today I'm going to show you how to pick up the rose to make the best rose water and uh, I have my, uh, this is a wild rose uh, wild rose has uh, less petals than the hybrid or cabbage rose uh, cabbage rose are the best with uh, Damascus rose the, uh, has much stronger the scent but the wild rose also can be used to make a good rose water. They have a good antibacteria and anti-inflammation uh, properties. The, in the day, you want to find the morning time. Today is a bit cloudy. The cloudy day is better than the sunny day. So the cloudy day, the sand won't dissipate you know, as fast as the sunny days. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to pick up them. When we make the rose water, you know, definitely you can pick uh, any rose you like. Uh, the general rule for those not uh, fully open like this. You know, they already have uh, the edge petal open, but the center is not fully open. These are the best. Um, for those rows already uh, losing the petals, they are uh, not as good as the, you know, the one I mentioned, um, because they are already fully open, so they already lost some of their scent. All some of those are like this. You can definitely, you know, pick it, and this is also a good uh, rose to make the rose water. Okay, I got a, a plenty of a rose. Uh, so you gotta start the uh, preparation and make the rose water. Just did a, a quick wash, rinse off uh, the bugs and uh, the dust. That's it. Um, if you like, you can just pull the paddle out. So you just use the paddle. Uh, because the rose, most of the scent uh, come from the paddle. That's why the paddle is uh, most uh, useful. So again, I'm using the KD5 to make uh, the rose, the rose water. I just put the whole flower in there. The top cover and the bottom cover, the seed play is very important. So you always want to put it in. If you miss that, you gotta buy the you know the replacement. Added about a liter of uh, filter water in there because I only make a 500 milliliter. So there will be a plenty left in the pot. This can avoid the overcook, the burn. You know, if the, if the pot burn during your distillation, it can ruin your the hydrosol, your product. So always uh, leave some of the water in the pot after you know when you finish the distillation. So pretty easy. Uh, the KD5 is ready. Just turn on the heat. And I use the ice cubes, ice cubes and the cold water in the condenser to uh, condense the steam and, uh, into the hydrosol. I 
made about 10 cups of uh, the rose water. Uh, it's pretty good, so I turn off. The Wild Rose Hydrosol doesn't have as strong the fragrance scent as the Cabbage Rose or Damascus Rose, but it still has many benefits like uh, antibacteria, anti-inflammation. Hydrosol has many uses, especially the fresh made ones. You can use in the morning, after wake up, uh, during the day, in the office, when you travel, or at the night, spray on the bed. It can help improve the hydration, brings a beautiful nature scent to our the living environment. And also it can be used to make a tonic drink, adding to the flavor to the food, salad, and also make your own skincare products like the lotion, the soap. There's so many uses you can use. So any place if you want to use water and you can use hydrosol and that's the benefits of it you you know you make your own hydrosol especially when you have a garden you know after you see the flower bloom you can change that into the more advanced products you can have benefits from thank you for watching this is dr liu and I'll see you next time